Hey, so I've been uh, using this neural, NVIDIA neural graphics primitives tool uh, over the last week. I try to figure out any decent ways to uh, improve the resolution of the 3D object, the OBJ that you get when you export uh, from within the, in here. So you can mesh it to create the mesh and then save up here with the save button to export it. Um, and it's just not something that I think is particularly useful for most 3D applications. And there's probably some people that will be able to make use of it. It's also super cool to be able to just chuck a video at it and within a couple of minutes have its output something like this. Um, you, I've been using this to image my family, for example, which is quite fun, a little uh, memory to have and a, a log of what they look like when they were, when they were younger. Um, but uh, for practical 3D applications, I mean, I don't think it's too useful. This is more of a, a fun, fun toy at the moment, I, th I think. I do think it's got tons of application, uh, tons of possible, uh, tons of uh, ways that it could be improved. Um, one of the problems that it has is when you do mesh it, it does create a 3D voxel. So the vox, the, the the polygons that get created get created inside of the mesh as well as the outside. It's not quite like photogrammetry. Um, look at this bear example. You can see that when you zoom into the bear. There's tons of the resolution that is being applied and is being applied in to the inside of the mesh. And this is also problematic because you can very easily uh, trying to while trying to increase the resolution to create a more accurate map, get get the VRAM all the way up to over 24 gigabytes, which is obviously the, the most the, the, the my 3090 can handle. And most GPUs are eight eight gigabytes of VRAM or, or less. So it's still uh, very much in in the early stages, and it's not something that's going to be terribly useful for tons of people. But if you want to experiment and learn and and play around with things, maybe you'll be able to come up with better ways of uh, improving this. So if you're a developer, it's worthwhile checking this out in more detail. But this video is more about Reality Scan, which is the new app that Reality Capture have uh, released in beta uh, for um, Apple iOS phones. And you can see here, I mean, the quality that you get is way, way, way better. If I just show you the color map that gets produced, which again, Nerf can't do, and it's obviously the fidelity is much, much better. For what you get here. So this is just an, the app uh, that has I've used to just walk around and have it automatically take photos as I'm circling it at various different levels. And this, in this, for this particular one, I only used I went around the app. Uh, I went around the model twice, one at the uh, at one angle and another at a higher angle to capture the top of the creature. So around this way and then around this way. And if I'd spent a bit more time taking images of underneath the arms, then those would have been captured as well. If I'd uh, had a better model placement, for example, instead of the way that I did it. And I mean, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video just to show that if you do want to create 3D models, in my opinion, the best solution I've come across is Reality Scan. And the second best one is Meshroom, uh, which, is, which is free completely free and you can get very similar if not identical results to reality, reality capture so this one was created using the mobile app uh, the desktop version has even more options the mobile app is uh, in beta there's only 10,000 people that can can log in log into it I'll, I'll include a link in the description if there's still spaces left you can um, join the join the test flight uh, app and download it and install it and check it out for yourself. I am going to um, do probably one or two more videos on Nerf. One I want to do, which is I've been messing around with the, uh, there's a, uh, there's a mask 
option, which I've had some trial and error with, and some luck with, and also not been able to recognize the, the, the PNG format. So I'm just, I'm still trying to figure out if I can get it working, but it looks like what you can do is you can add a mask. And what I'm going to do is use the iPhone's depth sensor mask masking capabilities to see if I can possibly produce more accurate models uh, in the, in this software using the mask system. So if I can, I'll do a video on that. And I'm also planning on just doing a very quick, uh, how do you how do you actually use your own video to create a model uh, example as well? Uh, but that's going to take a little bit longer to do. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you wanted to create 3D models, I recommend Reality Capture or Meshroom. If you if you if anyone's got any questions or wants anything in particular for me to talk about in how to get these Nerf videos uh, running yourself, then uh, drop a comment and let me know. Cheers.